I'm also going to derive the equation for the straight line. We said the definition of a slope is what? y2 minus y1 over what? x2 minus x1. The reason I call them y2 and y1 because you have two points, right? But I really, I could have called that instead of y2 and y1, I could have called it y minus y sub 1 and x minus x sub 1. I'm going to call one of them point 1, call the other one just point with no number. That's the same thing. The m is m over 1. Notice you have a fraction on the left and a fraction on the right. I always say one of the easiest ways to solve an equation that has one fraction on the left and one on the right is what? Cross multiply. So if you cross multiply, what are you going to have? y minus y sub 1 equals what? m times x minus x sub 1. Ding, 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 ding. This is the equation that we need. When the problem says find the equation of the line, that's what you want to use. Anytime the, the question says find the equation of the line, there's the music there? Is that a piano? When it says find the equation of the line, you want to be thinking about this. I do hear music. You guys hear music? Yeah. Is that you? <laughs> Is somebody's phone like ringing or something? I hear music there. Oh, it's in the hallway? Okay. I have good ears. To use this equation, there's two things that you need. We need to use it. We need what? One, we need the slope. And the slope will give us the value for m. And the other thing we need to use it is what? One point. One point. It didn't say the y-intercept or the x-intercept. One point. And that point will give us what? x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So notice we need one point and we need slope. Guess what the name of this equation is? What do we call it? Nope. The point slope form. That's the point slope. When they say put the answer in the point slope form, that's the form they want you to leave it in. So let's take an example. Find the equation of the line that passes through, uh, let's pick a value, what, negative 4 and 1? and has a slope equals negative one-half. Normally, once I hear, that's me, once I hear, find the equation of the line, I stop immediately and I go, I need to use this one. That's what I have to use. Do I have all the pieces that I need? Yes. Notice, we know this is your x sub 1, you have a point, and this is your y sub 1, and that's your m. Plug them in. y minus, what is y sub 1? 
1 equals the slope, which is what? Negative 1 half times x minus a minus, which is what? Plus 4. Distribute that. Negative 1 half x minus what? What's 1 half times 4? 2 equals y minus 1. Now, if they said leave your answer on the point slope, you'll stop right here. Don't go beyond that point. If it says point slope form, you're done right here. Because if you decide to be Mr. Nice Guy or Nice Gal, you don't want to solve it completely. You add one to both sides, what are you going to have? y equals negative 1 half x minus 1. This is not a point slope form. What is that? That's the slope intercept form. They will be picky. I know I've seen them for the homework. They'll be picky. In one example, they say we want it in this form. The other one, we want it in the other form. I can tell you, too, we have another form. It's called the general form. It was so difficult to write these fractions, especially the older math books. If you ever seen an old math book, or we used to write the book on a typewriter. So to make a fraction, you write the one. And I don't know how many of you even know what a typewriter is now. You roll the paper up a little bit. You put dot, dot, dot. You roll it up. You write the two. You roll it down. You type the x. You type the minus one. You guys know what typewriter is, right? You seen them? Yeah. So, because I know some of you like you use the printers today. So to avoid that, we said, you know, this is too complicated. Let's get rid of the fraction. And how do you get rid of the fraction? You multiply everything by not decimal. You multiply everything by two. If you multiply it by 2, you're going to have what? 2y equals what? Negative x minus 2. And let's move everything to one side. And we like x to be written first. So this becomes x plus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0. That's actually called the general form. So the point slope form, you leave your answer on this, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. The slope intercept form is always y equals mx plus b. I don't know why the b is capital letter here. And the general form is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So that used to be a really popular form. We still use it. You still look in a math book and you'll see that form. Sometimes leave the answer in this form, especially when you have fractions. They always ask for it in that form. So make sure you just know the three looks because if they want it in this format and you give them this, they'll mark it wrong. If they want this and you give them that, they'll mark it wrong. So you have to know which look they want it to be. General form, slope intercept and the point slope. What will happen every once in a while, the problem, they're not going to be that nice to you like this example. I gave you everything that you need. So let me change that. Maybe I'll try a couple more examples here. Let's say we have this question. Find the equation of the line. That passes through. Three and two. And, I don't know, 
negative 5 and 4. I'm making things up. Again, just like the previous one, the question is asking for the equation of the line. I'm leaving a space about an inch on the top here intentionally. I need to use this one, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. I get two points, so this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. I got a problem. You find the slope first? Uh-huh. I don't have m, so I need to find the slope first. That's why you have that little space there. And what's the slope? Isn't it y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1? What's y sub 2? 4 minus what is y sub 1? 2 over x sub 2, which is negative 5, minus x sub 1, which is 3. 2 over negative 8. What do we have? Neg negative 1 fourth. Now I can finish it. y minus, what is y sub 1? 2 equals negative 1 fourth x minus 3. That's again, that's the slope intercept form. I mean, point slope form. Point slope form. You don't have the y intercept, you have a point. Now, if you finish it, try to clean it. Negative 1 fourth x plus what? 3 over 4? Let's add 2 to both sides. You have y equals what? Negative 1 fourth x plus, that's 2 and 3 quarter, isn't it? If you don't like mixed number, you can change it to improper fraction. As improper fraction, that's what? 4 times 2, 8 plus 3, 11 over 4. And that is your what? Slope intercept form. And if you want to switch the general form, if they ask for that, we multiply everything by what? 4. 4y equals what? Negative x plus 11. Move everything to one side. Write x first. x plus 4y minus 11 equals 0. And that's your general form. Question on this? So to get the, the general form, you just multiply everything by y2? LCD. By the LCD to get rid of the fractions. Okay. So in this case, the LCD is 4, right? Yeah. So you multiply by 4, then you move everything to one side. We normally like to see x being positive. So you want to move them to a side that will make x positive. You know, so if x was really positive here, I'll move the 4y to that side, and that'll be x minus 4y plus 11. But you want to make sure you move x to the side that'll make x positive. One more example. I'll put another twist in it. Any other question on this? Find the equation of the line. Mm -hmm. 
that passes through. And I'll pick a number negative three and comma negative one and perpendicular. Two, two x plus three y equals seven. So I put a twist in it. Perpendicular to two x plus three y equals seven. Again, I'm asking for the equation of the line. I'll leave a space. So I got to use y minus y sub one equals m times x minus x sub 1. Do we have a point? Yes. This is your x1, this is your y1. You can't use this unless you have a point and a slope. We have a point, but do we have a slope? Not yet. Our line is perpendicular to this. Let's take the 2x plus 3y. What is the slope of that line? What's the slope of this line? Negative seven over three. Or wait. Almost had it. Seven over three. Nope. The slope. To get the slope, you have to solve it for y. So to solve it for y, you'll have what? Three y equals what? Negative two x plus seven. And now to solve for y, what do we do? Divide by three, three, three. Y equals what? Negative two third x plus seven thirds. What is the slope of this line? Negative two thirds, yep. And what is our slope now? Our line is perpendicular to this. Yep, you flip and change the sign, right? If they are perpendicular, you flip and change the sign. So if you flip this one, you're going to have positive 3 over 2. So now we got all the pieces that we need. Y minus a minus, that's plus 1, equals 3 over 2. X minus a minus, that's plus 3. Again, that is the slope, uh, point slope form. If you clean it, 3 over 2x plus what? 9 over 2, which is 4 and 1 half. Oh, I forgot the x here. Now you subtract 1 from both sides. 3 over 2x plus what? 3 and 1 half? Again, if you're not a fan of mixed numbers, you want to change it to improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 1. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1. 7 over 2. That is slope intercept form. And now to get actually the general form, I'm going to multiply everything by what? By 2 to get rid of the fraction. 2y equals what? 3x plus 7. Remember what I said. You want to put them all on one side, but you want x to be positive. So to make sure x is positive, I need to move the 2y to this side. And that will make it what? 3x minus 2y plus 7. 
you can say equals to zero on this side or equals zero on this side. It doesn't matter which side you put the zero. And that's your general form now.